Washington. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi begins our live team coverage tonight. Alina, what will this rover do now that it's on Mars? Well, after traveling seven months through space, the Mars rover will now finally be able to get to work. And scientists are hoping the rover will be able to answer the long time awaited question. Is there life beyond Earth? It's of course trying to make significant progress in answering one of the questions that has been with us for many centuries. Namely, are we alone in the universe? Today was something out of a sci-fi lover's dream. A rover named Perseverance touched down on the red planet successfully. Landing on Mars is really all about finding a place, a way to stop and uh, stop in a safe place. And because of how long it takes for radio signals to get back from Mars all the way to Earth, Perseverance has to do this all on her own. NASA calls the landing the seven minutes of terror. The rover took seven minutes to get through the atmosphere, speeding at 12,000 miles per hour, about as fast as a skydiver jumping out of a plane without a parachute. Scientists say Perseverance will collect samples so they can conduct research back here on Earth. And as we go to Jezero, we go to the most promising site to really unlock the information about that web past and the question, was there ancient life during that period where on Earth life was arising? And Perseverance brought a friend along for the quest, a helicopter named Ingenuity, which will be released from the stomach later on in the mission. And one fun fact about this helicopter, it's going to be the first helicopter to land outside of Earth. We're live at Kennedy Space Center. Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News. Truly incredible stuff. The rover blasted off from the Cape in July. Today, the Kennedy Space Center hosted a watch party so people could see this landing live.